Lori Faria Stolars. Uh, yes. Oh, things are falling out of here. Okay. Comes with a map. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with an unhaul video. This is my second ever unhaul video. There's just a couple of books that I just don't want on my shelves anymore, so I figured I would show them to you guys before I bring them on over to my local thrift store. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book is Deadly Little Games by Laura Faria Starlas, and this is actually like the third or fourth book in this series. It's called the Touch series. I don't have the first or second or third or whatever book this is in the series, so I don't want to go searching for it, so it's just going to go to the thrift store. The next book is Blessed, and this is by Cynthia Leichtish Smith, and this is another one that's like the seventh book or something along those lines. So your girl is way too lazy and way too cheap to go find the first six books of this series. It might not be the sixth, seventh book, I don't actually know what number it is, but it's pretty far in the series, I'm pretty sure. So. Your girl ain't gonna go find those books, so it's going to the thrift store. The next book is Birthmarked by Kara M. O'Brien. And I read this book, I think I gave it like a 3, maybe a 2.5, but I really didn't like it that much, so I have no desire to keep it on my shelf. Next is Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefvater. I was so excited about this book. I thought it was going to be really good. I was thinking that it was going to be super action-packed. It was just really boring to me. I think I gave it like a two stars, so not my favorite book. I listened to it on audiobook and I think that that made it a lot better than if I had just read it. Next is The Diner by Herman Koch and I was super excited to read this as well because Peter over at Peter Likes Books talked about how much he loved this book but I really didn't like it. I thought it was boring and I hated all the characters and I think I gave it a two out of five stars. So was not my favorite book. Next is There Once Were Stars by Melanie McFarlane. I have a full review of this if you guys want to check it out. I think I gave it a 2.5 out of 5. It just wasn't for me. I think that people would enjoy it if it was like a dystopian and they're into that kind of thing. But I just didn't like the insta-love, so it's a no-no for me. Next is That Summer by Sarah Dessen. I believe I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars, and it was only because I related to the main character saying she was like felt awkward because she was tall and that's basically how I grew up but I just found this book kind of boring and nothing really happened so I don't need to keep it on my shelf. But it's a cute cover, I like the cover. Next is The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebel. I read this for the book too, it's on. If you want to see my review, I'll leave it up there. I was kind of disappointed in this book because I loved the movie and then I read the book and it just didn't, it wasn't what I thought it would be. And I think I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. The movie is way better than the book, in my opinion. Next is Me, the Missing, and the Dead by Jenny Valentine. I read this book a couple months ago and I just, no, I just didn't like it. I think I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars. It was just really boring and the characters really bothered me. So off to the thrift store it goes. Next is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by David Levithan and who's the other author? Rachel Cohn. I know a lot of people loved this book and thought it was super cute but I think I would have liked it a lot more when I was younger. Like 14 instead of 20 I just kind of felt that it was a bit childish for me and I just I didn't enjoy it as much as I would have if I read it when I was younger. Next is Teenage Wasteland by Lynn Biderman and Lisa Pazer. This book was cute. But I think I only gave it like a 2.5, not one that I need on my shelf, it's not one that I'm going to ever reread, so it's going off to the thrift store. Next is The Unspoken by Thomas Fay. I gave this book a 1 out of 5 stars. Don't get me wrong, it was an okay book. I just, something about it didn't settle right with me. And I just kind of found it a little bit boring, so it's going back to the thrift store where I bought it from, because I just... I don't need it on my shelf. Next is Troll Fell by Katherine Langrish. And I'm actually so upset that I'm getting rid of this because I'm obsessed with the cover. Like, you see the little door and then the little trolls are looking at you? I think it's such a cute cover. And I would love to keep it on my shelf, but I just, there's no room for it. All my shelves are full and I'm never going to reread it. It's like a middle grade book. It's super cute cover wise but the book was just not good i did not enjoy it at all so it's off to the thrift store for my little troll friends but hopefully somebody will pick it up and they'll like it because the cover's adorable and it makes me sad that i'm getting rid of it but it has to go next is a galaxy of empires by bruce macron or markham something like that but i read this for the seven and seven readathon 
If you guys watched my wrap up, you know how much I hated this book and therefore I do not want it anywhere near my shelves. So goodbye. Final book that I'm getting rid of this unhaul video is Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. I love this cover. I want to keep it on my shelf, but I just did not like the story. I gave it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. I see why people liked it so much, but it just was very religious based. I'm not religious at all, so I just have no interest in keeping it on my shelf. And also I was able to call the ending so easily and that pisses me off in books. Alright guys, so that was my little unhaul video. I hope I see you guys in my next video. Goodbye! This summer, that summer, whatever.